Coke Machine for Real Fishing, December 3rd, 2019. So the ice is held overnight. It hasn't got blown up. There's been a few chunks that have come on shore, but the lake is still totally covered. Let me tell you that way out there, a couple kilometers out, I can see some serious ice formations going on out there. And the thing is, you need to have a hovercraft to go out there and scope out like how high that ice formation is actually coming out. From here, it looks like it's coming out like five feet in the air, but who knows, if you're closer, it might look like it's, you know, the same as everything else, you know, like a couple inches up. But whatever's going on out there, you know, we're not gonna know about. Not until this ice is thick enough to drive snowmobiles on or walk on, or drive an ATV on, or maybe even drive your truck on, eh? So here's a chunk of ice that washed up on the shore. As you can see, it's about uh, three quarters of a centimeter thick, I'd say. This was washed up yesterday. I'm sure with the temperatures last night, which were around negative 15, I'm sure this ice is thickened up. It looks hardier from here, let me tell you. You know, obviously you can't go walking on it yet because it's only a centimeter and a half out there. Anyway, keep your eyes on this channel. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll be keeping you guys posted on how this ice is coming together. And after a short while, I'll be actually measuring the depth of the ice so that we can know how thick it's going to be for the opening day. And I know you guys are waiting for that, as am I. So we'll talk to you guys later.